Welcome to how I have a productive week. It all starts off the night before. I always prepare my weeks on Sunday evenings after my daughter has gone to bed. I pull up my laptop and write a to-do list of all the things I have to get done throughout the week, content ideas, meetings, and other mundane tasks like washing and appointments. I know a lot of people spend their Sundays relaxing and chilling, which yes, definitely do that. I'm not telling you not to, but if you want to set yourself up for success on the next week, prepare your week the night before. Also, clearing up my workspace is essential because too many times I've woken up on a Monday morning tired and I've come to a messy desk and an unmade desk. It automatically puts me off and I don't want to do any kind of work. So if you do work from home, if you study from home, clean your workspace, clean your environment because a clean environment is a clear mind. I know not many people agree with that, but I live by it. I tend to wake up after my daughter and my partner, so I take my time waking up because I know that my days are busy. Running around, chasing the toddler and answering work and filming content is a lot, so I take my time to wake up. I do not go on my phone, no screens, no phone, no nothing. I just sit with myself, sit with my thoughts for a little bit before I get up, wash my face and start my day. So the first thing I do in the morning is freshen up. I do a skincare routine. I literally close the door, lock the door so my toddler does not come in and bother me. This is time for myself just to wash my face, brush my teeth, indulge in a little bit of skincare. But freshening up can mean anything in your routine. You just have to define what you enjoy. That could be doing a skincare routine like me, going on a walk, exercise, a shower. It could literally be anything. Just freshen yourself up in the morning. Do not have any distractions with your phone and answering emails and calling people. Do that after it can wait. So once I finish my morning walk, I don't do this all the time, by the way, I need to be realistic with you guys. I do not go on walks every single morning by myself. But once I get back, I sit at my desk and I write a to-do list like I said before. I usually do this the night before, but unless I've forgotten something or if I have more things to do, I will sit at my desk, go on Notion, and I will write a to-do list and plan out what I have to do for the day. That way, my mind is not boggled and confused and I'm not overwhelmed. After I do this, I then make my coffee. I usually make coffee first thing in the morning, but I'm really learning just to clear my mind, wake up properly first before I make anything or do anything. But here is my time to just enjoy before I actually get started with work. This can be anything for you, whatever it is you enjoy doing in the morning, whether that is making breakfast, cooking, making a smoothie or whatever. For me, it's making a coffee. I usually make it with my daughter, but today she woke up earlier, so I'm making it by myself today. The next step is to break it up. Do not do everything in one go, whether that is homework or just work tasks that you have to do, filming that you have to do. Don't do it all in one sitting. Five little tasks a day or two big tasks a day. You just have to break it down because you'll get overwhelmed. Staying inspired is so important, whether that is reading books, magazines, traveling somewhere or going somewhere new, going outside, music or even film or even just taking a good nap is really important just to keep you on your toes, just to refresh because if you're constantly doing the same thing, you'll get bored and you'll get demotivated. You need to stay inspired, you need to keep yourself excited regardless if you are in school or at university or have a job or work for yourself. I know in my industry it's so important to keep myself inspired, otherwise I'm not creating content. <laughs> Take a break. Whether you work from home or go to uni, school or college, you need a break at least once throughout the day. Get some fresh air, have some lunch, chat with friends, hang out with your kid. Here, I got an order from Zara. I got a trench coat and I'm sharing it with my daughter because she loves unboxing stuff and she loves things like me. So this is my break. My version of a break is playing with her and hanging out with her and having a good time with her. So this is your sign and your daily reminder to take a break. You work too hard.
And finally, my final tip is you have a definition of success is not from an external source. Success means different things to the different people. And it's so important that you define success for yourself, whether success to you is completing all of your to-do lists or getting that one thing done that you've been trying to do for weeks or for years. Success could be managing, you know, to get a break in, having real breakfast, not just fast food, spending quality time with your partner, your pet or your child. To me, a successful and productive day is meaning that I've done at least one creative thing in the day. And days like today, I have. You're watching this video, aren't you? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We don't look at the camera, okay? You're gonna get mad. She's so fascinated with the phone in the ceiling. Cheese! 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 <laughs> 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 I'm making sure <chocolate> there's muted! <laughs>